Hey. Hey. What's hey. up, everybody? Hey. Welcome to a very special hey. episode of Smoking, Smoking the, the Truth. truth. We got Ooh. a special guest, Justin. Justin. Hey, hey, hey. OG. Oh, hey, 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 what a beautiful week, guys. How are you guys feeling this week, man? Oh, yeah, it's, it's good. There's it's been a lot of great topics coming up in the news Oof. recently. Oh, I don't man. know. Um, this, Yo, events. it's been crazy. Hey. I think it's the end of 2020, you know. Things oh. are getting spicy a little bit. Mm-hmm. Everything is getting ready wrapped up and getting ready to come in for the new 2021. And I'm not even surprised. Still, still crazy saying 2021 already. <laughs> yeah, it's one like this. Sh- Bing. Mm-hmm. Short ear. Short it was ear. more like, you know, just blink of an eye. <laughs> Man, it's Damn crazy, bro. For real. Man, it's 2021. I just hope, I, like we said last week, we were saying for the last few weeks, hopefully by 2021, the Things coronavirus is gone. I don't think oh, directly by 2021, we're, but but I think I think three or four months in, in there, three or four months in. Yeah, mm. it's it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time for for them to produce millions and millions and millions of vaccines. Trust me, we can do it. I mean, we will, but not in three months. I'm sorry. We're the number one country in the <laughs> world, bro. What's wrong with you? We're the uh, number one country in the world. What's up with you? Mm. Uh, Don't get it twisted, man. Mm. So it's one of our great topics that we have. <laughs> oh man, let's start. <laughs> let's start. Let's get it in, man. So let's first touch bases on what happened recently this week. So with Kim Kardashian saying that the criminal justice system is broken. Of course, you know, we always kind of knew that we, the justice system's jacked up. And I'm bringing this up because, you know, the killing of a guy named Brandon happened this week. Brandon? Yeah, but with the, what is the penalty of that? My Spanish is everywhere, man. But so this happened this week because as we were discussing early, he did some criminal activities back in 1999, and now they kind of you know can't find the 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 real topic. But right now they're kind of charging him, you know, for for basically killing him off because you know he did something back in 1999 over what was it was a double murder a double, double murder robbery yes That's sir it was yeah and now they're just now taking action like what do you think of, like i mean after all these years if somebody if you can find a way to prove that somebody has reformed themselves then why still give them the penalty true you know That's like true. Like, I, I, honestly, I still feel as if every being still has a right to live, but there is a, a certain point of where I guess it could be acceptable, mm. but the 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 way that they carried about that, it just does not seem right. Because I mean, why? Like, what 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 really gives you the right to take away another person's life? Or just put them in jail? You know, like. Simple as that. But I mean, the longer you got somebody in jail, the more and more you got to pay to keep that person in there, too. So that's probably where they're that's thinking true. about it. That's true. That's I did not thought about it that way, yeah. It's going to cost money to keep people, somebody just in the cell. Most definitely. Mm-hmm. Well, we've been knowing that throughout 2020, you know, with the George Floyd situation, with mm-hmm. the, you know, all the killing that been happening with black people and anybody in general, you know, we know the system is messed up in a way and it's going to take a long, long, long time to get back to normal but but to be honest I, I do feel like you know it's already in progress you know you definitely do see change and even with uh sexism as well and not just racism and they found the police you know it's, it's more conversations about it so i guess it's we get in somewhere you know yeah yeah it's it's because it's becoming more prevalent you know the more and more it's spoken about and the more we can get that message out there the more people can actually realize what and wake up to the situation but, but that's kind of tough because it also depends on like what they do with their actions there's only so much words could do words don't mean as much as they used to as well so most definitely yeah, it's all about action mm-hmm. but the action you're doing the stuff you're doing the, you know it's gonna it's gonna cost you know so much drama and speculation you know but so thanks. the next topic you know Oh man, little Wayne, man, little Wayne, man. Uh, Something that happened back, I believe, December of 2019. He so, finally. So what, little Wayne, baby. Please little Wayne baby. played guilty, man, for on Florida gun charge. That gold-plated pistol. You. I thought little Wayne was gonna not hear no more from him for the rest of 2020, but after he did with Donald Trump situation, or he he was voting for Trump and all that, I thought we were good. You know, we were cool with little Wayne. But uh, you know, 
DMC coming back, man. <laughs> but I mean, but you gotta think. Coming it, back. I'm it, sorry. It, it still took them. A, it took them over a year to charge him with something like that. But it's like it's karma, man. Karma. Remember we talk about karma. But how? How? I got a question. How is if if you're a big time person, mm. right? Yeah. How are you supposed to have a way of defense? Because you're always going to have somebody that's going to try and rob you. Or something of the sort. This is why you pay to have security. This is, this yeah. is why, but, if you but, know... But even at that... If that, you know that you're a person that's famous, a radio personality, mm -hmm. somebody that has, you know, a big name out there, this is why you pay for security, somebody to, you know, protect you around. That's facts. Period. That's you're big. making the money. I mean, it makes sense, but... Sometimes you can't have you, you don't have time to have that security yet or you're still waiting on those security to come to you You know what if with that that extra full five minutes? I mean, I know that he it's does crazy. have multiple charges from in the past So it's kind of illegal for him to hold one, but He really did it to himself. I'm not gonna lie. But, like he did to himself. Eh, <laughs> he did to himself. <laughs> but, but regardless they still need to learn. I mean the to know that they, they still need to have some think, some kind of defense, you know. I agree. I agree. True, true, true. I think the bigger picture is, you know, when you were a rapper or you were an artist, you separate your life from, you know, all the streets now. You know, now you're you're mm -hmm. you're you're a singer, you make music, you have a business to run. No need for you to be, you know, I understand you're protecting yourself and that's the right you have to have a weapon. But you gotta be more careful how you move, you know? Yeah, you gotta be extremely careful because it's not the same somebody around the corner that could try and sneak you. It's or always somebody watching. Break in or whatever. It's always somebody watching like what you're gonna do, you know. So. All times. Hmm. Let's see, what else we get man? This has been it's been a popping week, you know. It's a good one right here. Right here, talk about it, so, man. From what moving from rapper Lil Wayne on to something a little bit more, uh, I don't know how to, yeah, <laughs> I just say, so, I, I mean, I, I think that's the only way I can really say it, just take a pause on it. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> makers of Grow Your Own Human Sticks say this is technically not cannibalism. Growing human mm. meat. I don't think Growing. I heard that correctly, like... Growing human meat. I'm still trying to process it. Um, so you can grow your own meat pretty much at your own house. You're growing your own your own meat <laughs> at your own house. You could I theoretically. Like, I feel like we're not ready for a DIY yet. meal kit. But I don't know how I feel about eating it. You like, think as a society, you think we're prepared to? Step that direction. Maybe not with human meat. No. Yeah, we gotta no. start. Not, not not with human mm -mm. meat. Mm -mm. But stepping into the field of possibly, you know, with, I mean, because they're kind of already doing it now. Mm-hmm. You know, with chickens and things like that. Yeah, we've been doing it for years now. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, that that's that's understandable when it comes down to human flesh. I mean, that's radical. What it what if. What if somebody really likes human meat enough to where they start going after more chunks of it because you can't grow anything than more than, than just a quarter sized piece of meat? Man, bro. People are going to fiend over man. If they do. If they are like this big, too, in case you guys don't know. Like, yeah, like a size like a of little, a quarter. Yeah, it's, like yeah. it's, it's crazy. To me, it's, I'm still crazy to hear this because it's just, I don't see it yet. I don't see it. I feel it's going to be something. In the future, you know, it's coming. They need Human to keep, meat. They need to keep that away. Do you from think? Us. You think they'll they'll open up to that? I don't know. We're so close about gay people, you know, all this stuff going on. I feel like. Would you try it? Hell no! Not try that. Hell no! I mean, imagine Arby's, roast beef sandwich, but human meat. Human. Let, let, let me. Let me. Oh no, bro. Uh, let me say it like this. <laughs> now. If my snuck it in my food, and I ate it, and it tasted good, and I didn't know. Did you eat it? I'd be like, dang, that was good. But now I, I kind of want to throw it up. <laughs> Hell no, <laughs> like, bro. ate human flesh. Yeah, like, like huh, uh, nah. <laughs> I feel like it's not, even, it's not going to be, even be healthy for us to eat our own. I mm. feel like because. But if you think about it, it might be because we, you know, everything that we eat, you are what you eat. Right. Why would you so technically, you, you could recycle certain things into your system, maybe. Nah, man. Like the iron. So you could live off yourself in a sense. 
That's just, that's odd. <laughs> that's odd. That's a pretty interesting conversation yeah. to have. I feel like we're not ready for that yet, but it's coming. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. What else we were talking about this week? Um, the basic income that you were telling the me universal about. Universal basic mm. income. That's interesting. That's right a there. topic right there. Yeah, let's let's bring let's that up. Let's bring that up. So, right here, I have it. I have it right here, man. The universal basic income. So you guys are telling mm -hmm. me that we're gonna have a monthly feed. I don't know if it'll be monthly or every week. It probably would be monthly. It'd probably be easier to handle that way. But like, will that make that will that break our system? Meaning so, that so what they're basically saying, and it's basically uh, Saxo Bank saying mm -hmm. um, universal basic income could possibly permanently become a reality of next year. Meaning. Meaning, basically, everybody, no matter mm -hmm. on who you are or your financial thing, or your, fi uh, your ha how much money that you got in your pocket or okay. making, you're going to be able to get money from this. And they're talking about how it can rebalance, you know, the financial structure and maybe do away with poverty. Like, I mean, I could see, especially with uh, everything that's been going on with the coronavirus and things like that. But also, I still feel like it might make people lazy. That's what I'm mm -hmm. saying, bro. That's that's the key right there. If we don't have people working or trying to get a job, how's the economy gonna stay? You know, fluctuate. How's it gonna mm -hmm. keep moving? I mean, because because I mean, if they they they're handing out money, that money's gonna be recirculated. That money is always gonna be in circulation, and you know, going from point A to point B to point to point C. But would that create would that create like inflation? You know, the dollar value is gonna go down in a way because if we're giving free money out every mm -hmm. say every month, whatever. I would say it's gonna cause some type of inflation. It has to. I would say basically, you know, your typical phone. You know, say your iPhone per mm -hmm. se. You're still spending almost a thousand dollars for a typical new iPhone. Right. Mm -hmm. Let's say if this inflation takes place, it could probably go up to two to three thousand dollars. Does it make sense? It, it yeah. would cause it would cause the rise, like and I said, inflation. It's everything gonna go would, high. Yeah, because yeah. Er, everybody's gonna have money, so it might still create another poverty line. So we could see how that fluctuates, but never know unless you see. Man, I'm old school, man. We need people to just have Labor. jobs, <laughs> work. <laughs> we we need people to become professionals. You know, we need people to become singers. We need people to become artists. We need people to go find their way out we can't just give mm -hmm. people free money it's gonna cost you know people to be lazy mm -hmm. stay in the house abuse the system like Which people, already now. people do it now they, they already people, do it now people yeah. are doing it all the time <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> <laughs> food like, stamps. <laughs> there's people that go out there and sell their food stamps. Like That's they'll, they'll get it and they'll sell it. Sell it, yeah. But it makes no sense. Like why are you sell? I mean, they probably sell it for get probably the for cash, half sure. the profit. But but regardless, like it's yeah. a hustle, like everything else. That's how I look at it. Every, it's a hustle. A, yeah. Everything it's is a hustle. A, it's just a hustle. If I had food stamps, I'd be using it and not selling it. Heck, I love. I would love free food. We all gotta <laughs> eat. No, 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 no. no, no. But like guys, you know, I understand that. I think that's the future. Um, because if you think about it, back in 2000, if you were to tell me about Uber, if you were to tell me about <laughs> Facebook, if you were to tell me about Twitter, you know, all these all these new things that we got coming already here, you, I would be like, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. Yeah. Like that kind of stuff you're telling me. It's, I would, not, it's not that kind of society for it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 it somehow came in and started really working so it fit into our you know our you know the amazon relatively fast too yeah amazon popped up out of nowhere started taking over things quickly very quickly very, yeah. very and speaking very over quickly. of things you know taking over we can move on to facebook time. oh yeah facebook oh my mm. god they're in trouble man mm. nice topic change. now what's happening with facebook tell me more about it so basically the federal government and the dozens of states have actually sued Facebook in twin antitrust lawsuits. Basically, they're abusing their social media giant structure and abusing its dominance in the digital marketing and mm. engaging in anti-competitive behavior, meaning they're like 
Instagram and all that, they, they're buying all these programs before they get big and putting it on their Facebook. It's like they're not giving their competitors a chance. They're just like, here's your money. We buy you. Get out the way. Hey, money talks. It does, money but talks loud. it's business. Loud. It's business. Mm -hmm. But but are you are you compl you think Facebook is doing the right thing by doing that, buying their competition or? I mean, you never know because like, if you think about it, what if that company that was designing that app or that 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 social media didn't know how to handle it? It's almost like somebody trying to manage an artist, and the artist gets too big for that that manager mm. to manage. So you pass it on to someone bigger who can really Wrap take it, it to the next level. That's smart. That's true, smart. true, true, true. I agree with you on that. I feel like, you know how musically, you know, in a similar way with music, you know how okay. artists, you know, partner with companies like, let's say, Sonic or mm -hmm. all these different companies. They partner up. They don't just buy your, your music. They just partner up. I think that's what needs to be happening with social media. If I'm Orlando and I'm Steven and we're creating the content, I want to partner up with you. I don't want you to buy my creation. <laughs> I just want to partner up with you and we can, you know, 50% get the earnings back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's the rule that needs to have with same thing with social media. I know social media is a new monster that just came up a few years ago. Mm -hmm. But I feel like that's the kind of energy that needs to be I mean, placed in. Social media has been around since I was in middle school. Facebook, uh, not Facebook, MySpace. And all that. Well, I've it. had a MySpace. But be, come on now. But <laughs> it's not the same MySpace As back then. Yeah. Come yeah, on now. MySpace is completely That's different. Valid. That's valid. It's I, different. I don't, I've never been. I I haven't even seen what MySpace looks like since then. Since I've probably went on there just to pull photos off. Of it. <laughs> yeah. From old days. You know what? <laughs> that was it. That was it. After Facebook and Instagram came, they just took everything away. They just Snapchat. Snapchat came uh, through. Snapchat. What's up? They came and swept, you know, by MySpace, segregated to Windows, whatever window they used to have back in the day. Mm. And, you know, that's what happens. When a bare innovation comes in, it takes over the next one. Yeah. And it's how Tesla visually. came, you know, how Tesla came in. Tesla came in, swooped everything up. I mean, you still got, you know, like, uh, what was it Rivian or something like that? And you got, like, Honda and mm -hmm. all, all these, all, all these, all these random electric cars popping up out of nowhere especially <laughs> from companies that we've never heard of before yeah. trying to take over the next innovation you got to. It's the market man competition is a must man it's a must if you know how to work it you can run it but you don't have to like destroy your competitors yo even uh, though even though even though it can be a doggy dog world when it comes down to competition facts bro facts cut bro. so i was thinking bro on this topic right you know how it's a little different from what we just discussed, but you know how kids are being raised now. Like back in when I was growing up, and you guys probably were growing up too at the same time. You know how kids used to do, you know, chores, you know, a little work in the house, like wash the dishes, sure, right, you right, know, right. Uh -huh. sweep the floor, yeah. mop the floor. I feel like we lose, we loosen that. It's because everything is becoming automated, and not just that. Like people aren't parents. Yeah, yeah, parents. Parents aren't putting that kind of pressure on their on their kids. They're, what they're, do you guys think on this? Tell me, like, mm. is it still happening? You think it's gonna? We're gonna go? What? What? What's, what do you guys take on that? So, if if I should tap into the you know the talk that we were talking about earlier, okay. you know, intelligence is going to take over in the future. Mm -hmm. Like, regardless of the fact, you know, the minimal work that we well, the major work that we we call it major work would become minimal work in the future because we won't have to do it. It'll be mm. all automated, so we're going to have to use our brains to and get smart. Mm -hmm. Wow. Like, it's just, see, it, like, if you think about it, the way coronavirus has happened, all the companies that shut down for coronavirus, uh, the ones that aren't, um, what, what are they calling it? The ones that are not essentials. Yeah, not essentials. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're almost like the same ones that would be taken over by automation. Pretty much, in a way. Almost. almost. Not all of them, but it's like, 
you know, like the food industry, yeah. mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. It would minimize a lot of it. But you don't think it's necessary to have some type of like. Oh, I yeah. understand that technology part of it, but you don't think like the discipline aspect of there, you know, there is a thirteen-year-old, fourteen-year-old, you know, twelve-year-old, fifteen. But needs like, to have some type of even though they're gonna be smart when it comes to technology, they still have to be raised, you know, to know that clean room is a happy clean. room. Right. <laughs> you clean know? room is a happy room. Even though we have this technology, you have to have to put the little effort of, you know, exactly. organizing it. But with in the long run, like I said, everything is gonna be done automated. Like the discipline aspect of it. It's going to change. It's going to shift to a different type of discipline. You're trying, you're gonna have trying to, to get to. Yeah, you're going to have to find a new way to... To discipline kids. To make, yeah, to make that discipline work. Cause, like the old school one work. You know, probably like when we were younger, we'd mm -hmm. probably get our butts whooped. Easily. Easy, like Easily. this. And nowadays, it's like... It's rare. You smack your kid, <laughs> your kid's getting taken away, and you're going <laughs> to jail. Or they post about it on social media, and then oh, you're still oh, going to jail. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So shout out social media, man. <laughs> so sure. yeah, that's that's an interesting taking that. I never thought of that way, man. You think social, the internet and all this new technology is gonna play a role in the growing up aspect of kids? You know? Yeah, I mean it already is. And kids. even even in the care and senior citizens. True. Ah, all, yeah. all that change. Like senior citizen, they're not gonna need human uh, human aids at the house no more. They're gonna have robotic aids. Yep. Whew, my God. A lot of jobs being lost, man. A lot of jobs, man. Gonna be gone. It's going to happen. It may not be tomorrow, but it will happen. It's it's sad to hear that. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people are going to be losing opportunities. Yeah. You but know? more opportunities will unfold as well. More jobs and new jobs and things like that will always, always be created in some way shape or form when a new technology is created and that thing might change society in a certain way they're gonna have to have people run that system as it's shown over decades of time now like new leaders are gonna emerge and do it could use something as simple as factories like there's always people needed to run the actual machine the machine does the work though yeah maintaining the machines mm -hmm. you can't i mean you could have a robot maintaining a robot but then you're gonna need a robot maintaining that robot which you need someone to work on that. <laughs> right. It's, it's going to be like a whole process with it. So. Right, right. So that's that's interesting to see. I'm, I mean, I'm excited to see that. You now, future, the future is quite it's interesting. Quite, it's yeah. nerve wracking to say. It, it, it's just like that's just like what uh, Bill Clinton said. The future's going to be quite interesting. Mm. <laughs> Elon Musk even said, you know. It's gonna be quite interesting. All these people, all the big name people, are saying that the future is gonna be something else. It's gonna be weird. Yeah. It's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird and interesting. <laughs> like it's there's no, weird. there's no breaking that down into anything. It's it is be, what it is, and it's going something. to be what it is. It's mm -hmm. gonna be something. What do you guys think of um, this last topic I had in my mind? I was thinking this week I was working. What if you know? Well, let me put it in a good way. You know, people, before the pandemic, right, people were hustling it out, trying to become something like chefs, become a chef, become, right. you know, a professional or something. Mm -hmm. But people quit because of the pandemic. Why do you guys take on people quitting on their purpose? Like, like does that take you anywhere, quitting? or? I mean, mm -hmm. it might have just helped them realize it's just not the industry for them. Or just not the time for it. Yeah, or the currently. time. Time. But also, you know, people might just pause back and then resume because, you know, not everybody can stay concentrated on the computer. You know, mm -hmm. sitting there at the computer trying to do a school on the computer, it's not really that functionable. It's not yet, at least. It's not it's not where it's, it's not it's, it's not gonna not where you, we at yet. Yeah, it's not gonna give you the same results. feeling and results as being in that classroom. Mm -hmm. So, you know, take a step back it may may make that help make that change but just to counteract this um point there's been a lot of like entrepreneurs and a lot of people who's been doing things like of course like food trucks or just making food at home delivering or pickup mm -hmm. or car washes car just washes. things like that like there's been a lot of local or like independent businesses that's just been popping up over the last Six, six seven months. months. Yeah. What I was telling him on a ride here, he was like, "Ooh, look at that truck right there! Yeah, it's a food truck." A lot of food I, trucks. I was thinking, yeah, like, was before a, yeah. the beginning of this pandemic, 
there was only two food trucks around here. And that was by Franklin Square. And then, out of nowhere, there's like 20 of them. Yeah. So, you, so you think this opened people's sense of ownership? You know, I need to come up with my own. Exactly. They, they had to. This pandemic created some type of, you know, I need it to come created up with business own. And, business and uh, businesses, men and women and uh, entrepreneurs, all that. It, it's really where it's at. It broke people down to the point where it's making them. It's it's almost like the discipline. I have, I have to mm -hmm. discipline, create a content. You know. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Whatever, that's what, whatever they. That's they what do. I was thinking, bro. The, the pandemic forced people to, you know, create content, get smart, get smarter, you know, put something out there in the internet, come up with your but own not businesses. Just the, not even just the. We're internet. talking in general, you know, yeah. everything. Bus business in general. Yeah, yeah. Facts. Because we have to do what we got to do in order to survive, and you know, make ends meet. At the end of the day, we like think about it like back in the old days. You know, we used to be a you know, hunter and gathering. You know, we used mm -hmm. to hunt outside to find the food. You know. And now, and that'd be for every family. Every That's family had, had to hunt. The yeah. man and whoever has to go outside and go. The man, the son, and whatever went outside with a rifle and whatnot. Boom. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely, you know, we still have the same kind of model playing today's day, you know. But, I mean, except for now, everybody's going out there trying to be that hunter. That hunter, but, yeah. you know. Adaptation, it's, man. Adaptation. All we gotta do is just go to Walmart, and then boom, our steak is right there. Not human steak. No, not human steak. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. But hey, you never know what to put in. Hey, man. Nowadays. It's crazy, man. That's it's tough. crazy. That's tough. It's crazy what's gonna happen 20 years from now. I'm excited. 20, even 10. Even 10. Five. Even 5. five. five. <laughs> even 5. Like. Tomorrow. Advancement of technology, you never know what could happen never, tomorrow. So. Yeah, you never know what's coming next. I feel like we have a lot of innovations still ready to meet. Mm -hmm. And more job, more you know, more new jobs coming for people. You know, I'm 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 just looking for more, more new yeah, more new jobs coming for people and some jobs taken away. But it'll it'll be a good one in the long run. And as long as you guys stay positive, stay stay you know, up to date. I know, you know. Uh, just remember. That this has been an episode of Smoking the Truth. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> that went so fast. <laughs> Orlando full over here. Yeah. So you guys, if you guys, <laughs> if you guys like what you see, please like, share, and subscribe. You know what to do. Orlando like Flow, Justin JC, hey. King Us. We out. Have a good one, guys. Be Hope safe out here, man.